Spring of Sorrow week three or two. I'm not really exactly sure what I'm supposed to say because it's the second boss, but like the third week. Either way, it's finally here and we have an onslaught boss. And I'm going to be taking this fight with Chavez because Chavez fulfills the, um, what tag is it? It's the 2021 and hero tag. And she did pretty well for me, but I'm going to be fully transparent with you guys. This took me two hours to solo because of, I don't, I don't know. It was just a various amount of things. Uh, and it was largely because I feel like in this fight, you can recover from a lot of things, but if you get a singular daunted on yourself, you are just dead. And the large problems I had in this fight was not only like inputs of mine that I meant to dash back on, but the game decided I parried on. Uh, so that meant I got a daunted on myself and I was trying to dash back the whole time. And then I also might be I mean, I, he also could well-time block me, and then I'd get a daunt on myself. So those were the two biggest problems I had with this fight. Um, because if you can keep your willpower mastery up, you can afford to make some mistakes. But once that willpower mastery is gone, which is when you get a daunt on yourself, then you're not necessarily screwed, but it's going to be a lot harder. And some attempts i saw myself get a daunted on myself like early on into the fight and then I just quit out because i was like okay i'm not going to be able to survive long enough which in theory you could um i just didn't feel like trying i just wanted to retry after i got the daunted on myself but in this attempt i do not get a single daunted on myself i believe that i probably could have still done it with a daunted on me if he was like at 50 percent health or below that's probably where i wouldn't quit out as long as my health is relatively high too. So you can see we're at 84% now, but we're gonna be healing up a good bit. So uh, that's not too big of a worry right now. Uh, whenever he places that crush on me, I have willpower. Whenever he places the power sting on me, I have willpower. So there's a lot of ways to heal in this fight. I also have Chavez's SP2 if I want. Um, the energy resist buffs you get are both a blessing and a curse. Uh, more so a blessing because one they mean your narrow shocks on yourself take or you, they deal a lot less damage to you but also it combines with the node that reduces your crit rate per buff on you because you really don't always want to be critting onslaught because it makes a higher chance of you getting a narrow shock on yourself so uh, then again those narrow shocks are weaker but um, at least you're getting them less frequently when you're not critting too often. That being said, it does mean you can't get any crits on your special attacks or basics too often, meaning you can't get big yellow numbers on the SP2 and you can't get big heals from the SP2. You can still heal though. Um, if you have like all three dimensions and you activated with the blue dimension, then your SP2 is going to heal you about 6 or 7%. Um, the armor up that he has is actually helpful because obviously it's gonna feel Chavez's damage. The armor up is only a one potency armor up, uh, meaning it's basically non-existent. So uh, uh, Onslaught's gonna take forever to throw a special attack here, I believe, uh, which wasn't too big a deal. I just had to not mess up and I didn't there. So that was nice. But yeah, this fight took me two hours to solo because I could have revived a couple times when he was at like 24% on one run or something. But I did want to get the solo for YouTube and I worked for it, so here it is. Um, I, I like the fight, but also I dislike the fight and it's just because of how, how easily it can just be over by getting that daunted on you. It, when you're not even trying to, when you know how to avoid that. Uh, I do like the node design. I really like it. I just don't like how Onslaught's kit works. I just don't like the fact that when he well times blocks me, I can get the daunted and then my entire willpower shut down. Uh, but it is what it is. It's not like, um, it's not like I can really blame Onslaught's kit here. Uh, I just don't like Onslaught in general as a champion. I think he probably I'm not sure about should have gotten nerfed on defense. I just dislike how he's designed personally, but that's just my opinion. It, I'm not like really annoyed with how he's designed. I just would tweak a few things myself. Um, anyway, back to the fight. Uh, we're at like full health right now and he's down to 38. 
so it is definitely looking pretty good for me um, and then there apparently I didn't dex apparently I blocked and then my block dropped so um, whenever I eat an SP1 um, I don't always immediately quit the fight usually I'm actually just going to play it chill kind of like I did there um, and just get those narrow shocks off of me slowly uh, absorb the willpower healing from the organic magmatism but I also don't want to be hitting too much with the organic magmatism on me because it does reduce my ab ability accuracy so there is a risk that my stun off of my heavy attack does fail and uh, I just wouldn't be like I wouldn't like to push that risk you know if I can help it so um, yeah, we're just going into, through the rhythm of countering Onslaught Special 1s, which luckily I practiced this like way before this boss came out. Um, I did learn the SP1 counter with relative frequency. Um, it definitely takes a lot of getting used to. It's a lot like the Winter of Woe Absorbing Man boss, where that is one of the key things that help you win the fight, is learning to space yourself properly with his SP1. Um, and I do like that because it is a good skill to know for like battlegrounds too So I do like when fights teach you skills to fight a champion like this onslaught when you want to counter his sp1 Well, here's how you do it and it helps out immensely in this fight. So um, One thing I don't ever do is push onslaught to sp2 because I am just flat out bad when I'm getting my controls inverted. I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to deal with the potential degens I'd be getting either. Um, so I just never push him to SP2. If you are good at dexing onslaughts SP2, by all means, but I do not trust myself enough to do it myself, so I just never push him to SP2 personally. Um, he is almost dead. He's at 7%. Uh, I just need to bait an SP1. He throws it, and then I'm going to go in and... I'm gonna get the counter, I'm gonna go for an intercept, get the power sting off of me, and there, I don't know what happened, I thought I charged a heavy, but I didn't, and my character just stood there. Um, I, I might have been a little bit too fast in charging it, or too slow, something like that, but uh, it was a bit of a scare, but we're gonna be able to solo the fight, so it's okay. Um, and yeah, that is summer of, not summer. <laughs> Um, it's summer here, man. I'm getting confused. But this is Spring of Sorrow, Onslaught, soloed by Chavez. Again, that took me two hours to solo, so do not feel bad if you have to revive or take a long time. Because this is m maybe the hardest boss they've ever come out with yet for this these Eternity of Pain style bosses. At least for this year. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped out, and I will see you in the next video.